Welcome back to another video. It's Junior Garcia from The Carpenter's Touch. The title says it all. How I lost $5,500 instantly. But before anything, right? I want you to hammer the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and leave the comments below. Let's hit the intro. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. watching so before I tell you how I lost $5,500 instantly let me tell you what I did at this house right so I I did all the James Hardy uh, siding I did all the trim work um, all the Pennsylvania stone we also installed the blue stone right here and we built out these steps as well we installed exact railing systems and these are six by six columns. But let me take you to where the siding is at. So on this side, we installed James Hardy uh, light mist color, but on the front, it is James Hardy rustic series wood tone siding. So that wood tone siding is Cascade Slate. So he wanted uh, two different colors to have an accent to his house. We also installed all the LEDs underneath the soffits. And as you can see, the soffit is James Hardy siding. And in the front of the house and in the rear of the house are LED lights. So when, so at night, this place lights up. So the client wanted stone in the front of the house, but he saw that the fireplace was deteriorating. It was falling down. He says, Junior, you know something? I want that stone work in the front of the house to be here at the fireplace. So we gave him a price and he agreed to it and we redid the whole fireplace, the foundational part, also the stonework as well. So in the, so in the rear section of the home, uh, if you notice, it's only five quarter by six around the windows, right? Uh, in the front of the house, you see a keystone. He wanted a, something a little bit more decorative, but in the rear portion of the house, he says, you know something? I would like it just to be five quarter by six all the way around my window, so it could kind of look symmetrical. So in the front section of the home, we have James Hardy wood tone to the front and the lower area by the garage. Then we have the Pennsylvania stone in the lower porch area. And also we have the keystones right over every single trim. But now let me tell you how I lost $5,500 instantly. So you see that door behind us? Take a look. So that door is a Thermatru door. It's black, it's a fiberglass door, right? Nice decorative glass, two side lights. So I did my client a favor and I measured out that door. Um, I got the quote for him, it was $5,500 from a supplier. Uh, he took my quote and took it to his supplier. Um, the supplier adjusted the sizes that I initially gave him. So we ordered the door. And he says, no, this is just fine. Just order it. And when, when we ordered the door, the door came five inches smaller than the size of that actual door. And when, we, when that happened and we installed the door, we said, wait, wait, hold up. We're going to have to pack all these doors out, right? We're going to have to pack the side, the right and the left to compensate for that loss. And the client says, no, I want my door to install correctly. Now bear in mind, the homeowner didn't understand that the vendor was trying to give him a door that would be that would be less in size and less in price. And that's why he got the price for $5,500. But when he gave it to me, it was my mistake to double check the sizes. So when I ordered it, the, the actual size came in five inches smaller. So we did what a good contractor does what? They take responsibility and take the loss and order the door and we ordered the right door for him. So now the client has a nice, beautiful Thermatru door just like he wanted, the right size. And that's how I lost $5,500 instantly. So my advice to you, if you're a contractor is measure twice, right? Cut once, you know that saying, 
but in this case, you look at the paper work twice. Make sure that if it's 69 and a half, it's 69 and a half inches before you order the door. Why? Because if not, you will have to absorb this. And if you're a smaller contractor um, and don't have any wiggle room for error, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna hurt you. And if you're the homeowner and this happens to you, you know, feel a little bit relaxed. You might get anxious. You, you might say, oh man, what's gonna happen? What, what am I gonna do? A reputable contractor that you hire will absorb this, we'll take care of it, we'll be, take full, full responsibility. He will let you know, you know something, there was a small mistake, it's gonna take maybe three or four weeks to get this door, but I'm gonna take care of it and I'm gonna make it right for you. That's a reputable contractor, but if you have someone that's kind of starting out, um, you're gonna be out of a door, basically. You're gonna be in a jam. These are life lessons, you have yours, and I have mine, and I'm gonna share them with you. Keep watching.